cheap or expensive is uh, an open question. I think if the end customer pays for the value they get, then the whole value chain till the bottom benefits from it. So I think uh, being a cost-focused country and having all over, especially in transport, low-cost operations, uh, we do have the challenge that margins for our operators on trucks and buses are low. There are segments where, uh, where at different stages in the economy, in some segments, uh, operators manage to get much better rates. And that is where uh, the affordability for high-end electric products of good quality, uh, etc., is easy. So I say, I always say the end game is at the end customer. And one way to do it is that as the economy does well, uh, and as we wish to decarbonize transport and bring in electric, um, the the industry as well as the government should help that the end consumer pays more or reliably so that the other parts of the value chain can therefore deliver good quality and a good electric product out there. There are a lot of new technologies coming in. Electric has been around for a few years. We have hydrogen fuel cell truck. We have a full electric uh, truck for e-commerce applications. We have an IC engine on hydrogen. To get to those technologies, there are various partnerships, collaborations. The startup team is seen as moving fast. Wherever it's necessary, we are of course in dialogue, but uh, nothing specific as such. But wherever we see value, we of course get in touch with a small company or a startup. This particular platform of chassis and body built by Volvo at our, by us at our facilities in Volvo Aisher commercial vehicles in Bangalore is the same which we offer in other parts of the world, including Europe and Americas. Having said that, then when we introduced it a few months back, we had a seater version and we have already started to deliver sleeper versions to our customers. And then we know that if travel is looking up, foreign tourists will start to come to India soon. India is the champion for G20 this year, and that will bring in over 400 meetings, delegates from all over the world. And for events such like this with new highways which have been built, we wanted to give a luxurious experience. And it's keeping that in mind that we bring in this Volvo 9600 premium first class version for our customers. Anything between 1.5 to 2 crores depends on the customer and uh, what they want, what specifications. So there's no standard price. The more luxuries you want, because you can see there is there is all sorts of uh, uh, amenities available in this. It's not only pleasant seating with great air suspension or disc brakes or powerful engines, but also good air conditioning inside, excellent first class seating or lying down. Uh, food service available uh, on on in uh, sitting here. Uh, merchandise can be bought. You can watch movies. You can play games. You can watch maps, etc., etc. So I think the whole idea is this is every customer's a passenger's personalized space, and they can enjoy long travel in a comfortable bus. The infrastructure probably is easy to lay down for city transportation. Uh, we have started to look at staff and intercity transportation and that is where charge points will have to be put. The government is also supporting in such endeavors and there are private companies which are willing to do it. So initially it will happen in, as I always say, islands of excellence. That It will happen in areas where there is a good amount of volume of traffic moving. There the electrification or charging points will come in faster. Other areas which are B or C category towns, it will take time. So it's a mind game, it's a, it will spread itself in anything from 3 to 10 years.